Hey guys, welcome back. Um, sorry I haven't been a video in a while. I think I just op uploaded our first episode of the new gotcha series or gotcha thing I'm doing special. But yeah, so welcome in back to Roblox. I'm gonna take a break from like gotcha life and stuff because it's a bit hard doing all that stuff and trying to do it at a, res at a um, good schedule because I use my dad's phone for it and you know he has to work so yes I sound like I have a cold but I don't my nose is just stuffed because of stupid allergies um, and they're watching um, trading spaces on the TV so ignore that and try to tune into my voice and also happy Easter <coughs> so shall we begin the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is um, we're gonna go over here ignore my stuff ignore the stuff at the bottom we're gonna go over here to the library right okay so here in the library you go in and there's a secret place that I'm not gonna show you guys quite yet because there's some place that you have to go first if you want to find it and the good thing to do for it is probably go to um, sports pitch get a broom and then go to Hogsmeade and whenever you go to Hogsmeade it's gonna show up in tags okay so sports pitch sports pitch sports pitch is also flying but you have to say sports sports pitch because i'm pretty sure flying is going to get tagged out also if you see green rings around around the top of here or over by astronomy and herbology there the, the green rings right there then those are um those give you house points and as you can see, I am at 706, and it says I am a graduate. So, you know. All right. And I don't know why I'm flying right now, but here's a bag of galoons, so I'm going to get that. And excuse me if I say a spell wrong, or if I say anything wrong, it's just the Harry Potter stuff is a bit hard to pronounce. Okay, ignore them in the background. Okay, so Hogsmeade is spelled H-O-G-S-M-E-A-D-E, -E, like that, but it's always going to show up in tags, like that. But anyways, here we are, and while we're here, we just might as well do the other thing in Hogsmeade, and then I'll show you the secret then in the library. And you may already know some of this stuff, but on all the Roblox videos that I watch, finding out stuff on this game, it was um, them typing, and the only video I found with the girl that speaking was, um, she's kind of a noob to the game, so it wasn't very interesting. But anyway, here's the secret magic hat. It gets you into secret houses like Sirens, Unicorns, the one I'm in. I originally started as a Firebird. And yes, if you are already in a public house like owls, unicorns, um, vultures, and hummingbirds, it will allow you without pay Robux to come here and get into a secret house. And the secret houses are bats, um, sirens, unicorns like me, and then something else. I forgot what it is, but there's some other secret house. And the only house that has a dorm is unicorns, and that's what I was going to show you. But it's a secret dorm, so not a lot of people can find it unless you were showed by someone. Like, someone showed me where it was, because I promised that I would give them lessons in spelling, because spelling, not like muttered spelling, but using spells and what they do, because they weren't very good, and I was also pretending to be a teacher, because there's really no education division. So... But anyway, since we're here, we might as well find the bank secret. The bank secret? 
is super cool that some people already may know, but um, I didn't know until I watched this video. <coughs> so, yeah. Wait, let me go back and this also. Never mind. But you have to go all the way down the hall and no, don't try to get into these other vaults because they don't um, open or let you in because I've tried all the time, but they don't let you in. The only vault that will let you inside is the back vault. And you see these swords down here, that one, and then Jenny's sword, or Jenny's sword. It's, um... I will show you how to find out the Ginny's sword or something. But for this, you have to get past a couple walls of the fences, and you have to use that spell that he just said, Bubblios, or however you say it. And I already have this equipped because, of course, as you can tell, I was already in here. Being in here gets you 100 free galoons because you're basically just stealing them from the bank. And I'm not really stealing because I'm, after all, I cosplay as Harry Potter's kid. But, um, what I did was, um, the first time I did this, some guy dragged me in. And in the game, you know, he, like, kind of threatened that he would, like, use Avada Kedavia on me, or however you say it, the killing curse on me, if I didn't help him get in. So I helped him get in, but he wouldn't let me actually go inside to get anything. So, ever since then, I just came in here on my own, and pretty much every time I get into this game, I do it, so. And then here comes this wall. It does take a while for the walls to load, and there is a back door back there somewhere, but um, I don't know the code to it. So I always come back through these walls. And it is hard and it is weird and my but don't worry, your allegiment will not go any further past good. Um mine is a bit not perfect because I have two curses that I use a lot, Sectosempra and Levacorpus. Like that guy said, Sectosempra. But anyway. This is Jenny's sword, Jenny's sword, however you say her name. This is Jenny's sword, isn't it beautiful? Darn it, someone killed me. But um, that's what Jenny's sword looks like. And then if you go over into the galoons, it will say, stealing 100 galoons. And then it will, you know, and then if you wait long enough, it will give you 100 galoons. So... And plus, I don't really need to be in Hogsmeade. I can just come back here anytime I want, like get into a server where there's no people and come in here on my own. But I thought that I'd like get a public server because I'm not announcing that I'm YouTubing. No one knows who I am in Roblox as a YouTuber, so. Unless it's my friends that actually watch my videos. But anyway. <clears throat> and I only have 14 subscribers, let's go. <laughs> but anyway, now that we're back here, we'll do the thing with the regular dorm soon, but I thought I'd show you this because I see a lot of people in Unsorted, unsorted. so I thought I'd show you the, where the regular hat is because this is the hat I got in first with, and um, I got Firebirds. So technically I am a Firebird, but I'm also a Unicorn, which is really cool, because you can be like two houses at once. So if I ever don't want to go to the Firebird's house, because if you know that when you go to the dorms, when you go to dorms, there's no, no offensive spells pop up under your screen to say that no one can attack you or kill you while you're here. But here in the Firebird storm, I was healing people, and this one girl came in and she said, she said, you healing, and then she typed the B word, and then she typed B, and then she typed, like, four um, hashtags after the name. And I reported her because that's an acceptable um, language, an appropriate language. But, um, if you ever don't want to go there, and you, um, like, you got a regular house. But then you find that there's the secret sorting hat. 
and you want to be in a secret sorting hat, you don't have to pay Robux to be in a secret house. Um, so, here on the library, you have to go all the way back here, turn, come here, and you see, if you think that there's any ordinary books here, look harder or closer. See this book right there? You need to touch that with your character. And boom. Welcome to the Unicorn Storm. It's a secret place. And there's, um, the dorms aren't labeled, but I like to think this is the, um, the girls' <coughs> side. The girls' room. And the other side is the boys' room. But they look exactly the same. So... Then there's the secret room over here. I call it I call it the playing room. It's kind of hard to see in here, so you have to use a Lumos. And yes, I crafted this one. I've crafted three ones since I started playing, and I started playing like last month, or not, or not, or very recent, or kind of recently. And I'm already a graduate. That's how addicted to this game I am. So thanks Ella for showing me this game. She's one of my friends back from the Outer Banks. Back when my parents, no, her parents. So I met her and she has a brother, but I'm technically not, uh, I'm not gonna say his name. And, um, so yeah, just yeah. <laughs> um, so that's the Unicorn Storm and there's one more thing that I wanna show you. And plus, I don't really care that I got killed. I'll always, I can always go back there another time. Plus, you already saw what the um, sword looked like. And just to be clear, that's how many Galoons I got. I did not get those on my own. But I need to help some people. Lib, Era, Corpus. Libra, level Corpus is the curse. And this is the counter curse for um, level Corpus. And he just used Secto Sempra on me. And I was going to... So I'm just gonna reset because I don't feel like sitting through this. So there I am, bald. So yeah. And now we're gonna go to sports pitch because for sports pitch, you're gonna need a broom for the next thing. Bro, stop! I'm already dying. Sorry. I get mad at people a lot in here for randomly. Um, hitting me with spells, even though I do that sometimes too, but mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. I also brought bought the princess one yesterday with my galoons because I had it in a lot that I kind of needed to spend. This is my um, just for fun one, this is my unicorns one, and this is my firebirds one that I did use when I was in firebirds, but now I mostly but now I kind of use that one. <coughs> The fire, sort of the Firebirds, yeah. And you get Lava Corpus and Libra Corpus by completing the Firebirds trial, which is what I'm going to show you next. But first, you've got to go to Sports Pitch. Get yourself a broom. And do you ever wonder why you just hear people randomly saying, um, the meek shall not inherit, or randomly typing, the meek shall not inherit? Then, um, I'm about to show you why they say that. Like, I didn't know what it was for, so, like, I used to, I used to say it in here because I thought it was a secret room, but it's not. So, go to dorms. That said corms or something, not corms, but corp. Corms? I don't know. It's not really a word because it didn't have many vowels. But now, you're going to take your broom, your handy dandy old broom. And I mean, and I mean, I don't really have. So I don't really buy the um other brooms because I don't really because like, I kind of think it's a waste of money. Why do you need other brooms when you can get a free broom? And if you've ever wondered what this place was, um, I'm about to find out. So type in the, 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 
shall not in here it. Then make sure not in here, just like that, and then that slides up. What you see here is these. If you fall off of these, which I tried to do, but I kept falling off until like my third try. <coughs> um. Um. I forgot. Wait, no. I got these on my third try, but what you do is um is like you jump up onto these. I can't do it. You jump up onto these and you go up. But after you get past that, there's lava. And if you fall in the lava, you die. You reset and you have to go back. And you have to start all the way again. Until I got the broom. Until I started using the broom. And I stopped using the broom right about here. Because I thought that I should do some of the stuff myself. And so then I got back on the broom and I did this. And then I came over here. And I don't believe I did the broom, but since um, I'm over 15 minutes, I'm going to use the broom. Because it takes a bit. Because it takes a while, you know. And so then you come over here. And don't worry, there's no lava. Even though that looks like lava right there. But there's a chest. And you get an item, and I got vultures raise it, reason. Which means that if I apply it to a wand, it's going to make my wand great. And then back here, you get spell, um, you get potion ingredients. Here's the Firebird Sword, and it says for the Firebird Sword, it will be found in others as soon as you get it. So like right here with your cauldron. But here it says a relic of the fi of Firebird House, which I was in the Firebird House. So technically I do deserve it. So it glows with red, it goes with the red flare firebird. What? I don't understand that word, but it glows with the red of the firebirds and emits fire. It's a really cool sword. And it's not like Ginny's sword where if you die, you have to go all the way back and get it again. You can just get it in your inventory. It's right there. And these two spells is Liber Corpus and Leva Corpus. I bought Leva Corpus and Liber Corpus because back then I didn't know how to use it, how to come here, and also I had Robux and I brought um, sickles and I spun the thing. And I spun the treasure chest, but yeah. So now I'm gonna reset because I don't feel like going through all of this. And that's pretty much everything I know about Ave's Magic Academy. And it's pretty cool. And if you know anything else that I don't know, like the code to the bank, for example, for example, please tell me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.